Let us continue the discussion about the seven habits of highly effective people by Stephen R. Covey. Part 4, Renewal. Habit 7, Sharpen Your Saw. After you have understood all the previous six habits, you should have a clear picture about what is success and the way to achieve independence and interdependence in your mindset. As we have mentioned before, in the author's opinion, we are not considered leading a successful life if we can only take care of one certain aspect, like career, family, wealth or entertainment. On the other hand, we have to be successful in all of them. Imagine you are sawing down a tree, is it more efficient if you take a break to sharpen your saw or you keep going with a worn-out saw? Therefore, renewal is essential for us, we need to sharpen our saw to make things more effective and efficient. It lies in quadrant 2, it is not urgent, but important. It surrounds the other habits on the 7 habits paradigm because it is the habit that makes other habits possible. Habit 7 is personal PC, it is renewing the four dimensions of our nature, physical, spiritual, mental and social-emotional. For the physical dimension, we have to be proactive, we need to have a balanced, healthy diet and exercise on a regular basis. If not, we may find ourselves in quadrant one, dealing with health problems and crises. Good exercise can build our body in three areas, endurance, like jogging, flexibility, like stretching and yoga, strength, like push-up and sit-up. For the spiritual dimension, we have to review and recommit to our core, our commitment and our center frequently. We can visualize the events of the day with these values. For the mental dimension, we have to manage ourselves effectively to maximize the use of any resources, such as time, in accomplishing any mission. Continuing learning, reading good literature and writing are powerful ways to sharpen our mental saw. These three dimensions are associated with habit 1, 2, and 3 respectively. For social-emotional dimension, it centers on the principles of interpersonal leadership, empathetic communication, and creative cooperation. Peace of mind comes when your life is in harmony with true principles and values and in no other way. Write a good script for your life and stick to it, or else you have to live with the script prepared by other people. Figure out your own way to lead successful life. Treat a man as he is and he will remain as he is. Treat a man as he can and should be and he will become as he can and should be. Inside out again. There are only two lasting bequests we can give our children, one is roots, the other wings. Roots is to identify our ancestors, where we from and who we are. Wings represent freedom, we should not be trapped with negative scripts passed down to us. Does the last generation have the right to script the life of their next generation? Or is it wrong if we don't follow them? However, even in this modern era, the phenomenon is quite common. That which we persist in doing becomes easier, not that the nature of the task has changed, but our ability to do has increased. By cultivating the seven habits, centering our lives on the correct principles and reaching the PPC balance point, we can be more effective and efficient. We can cope with more things when our ability increases. We can also form the eighth habit, reading this book again and again on a regular basis. We can obtain new inspiration in different stages of our lives. We are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. To the degree to which we align ourselves with correct principles, divine endowments will be released within our nature in enabling us to fulfill the measure of our creation. Success is not about one times good one, it should be a cycle, which enables us to succeed in every different field. The closer we come to their mastery, the more aware we become of how far we really have yet to go. It's like the more you know the more you know you don't know. We must not cease from exploration. 
And the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we began and to know the place for the first time. Feel free to share your thoughts. Remember to subscribe, like and share.